Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. My name is Cilantro, this is my playthrough where I'm playing Morocco, and I'm trying for the Georgia On My Mind achievement. And at the end of the last episode... Uh, <laughs> uh, we got declared on by two people. Tunis, for one, uh, attacking both of us. And secondly, Castile and Portugal. So Tunisian War, I'm definitely a little worried about. Uh, I mean, troop-wise, we do outnumber their troops quite significantly. However, the problem is that I have been colonizing over here, and a lot of my troops are completely out of position. And I only have two transports. So I'm hoping I can get these troops back over here to the mainland. If I can't, I'm probably just going to consolidate and or delete them, and then recruit other troops over here, possibly mercenaries. I have 259 ducats uh, with which I can manage this war. Can always go into debt. Um, I, I'm willing to throw, you know, hundreds if not thousands of ducats into this to not lose territory. Because if I concede any territory, I'm going to be in serious trouble. The biggest problem is trying to deal with the AI. If the AI continues to be inept at shuttling troops over, which it does have a tendency to do, I'll probably be okay. If it does, I am not going to be okay. <laughs> Uh, Spain's army is, or it's Castile, right? Uh, Castile and Portugal, I don't know I'm finding it. Portugal's army is 14,000, which is about what I can field, whereas Castile's army is 29,000. That is far more than I could ever deal with, so we're going to have to rely on tradition, or, uh, attrition, Good military tactics, considering my entire country is highlands. I'll have to try to fight a lot of defensive fights, and otherwise, just a lot of good luck. I've already, uh, before I started recording, while well, time was paused, of course, I kind of flipped through a few nearby areas. If you're in a defensive war, you can actually ally people and get them to come into your defensive war. You can't if you're in an offensive war. So... I've kind of went through everybody, and I didn't see anybody I could possibly get an alliance with. It's hard to do anyway, because most people don't want to jump in and defend. My only option would really be is if any of these guys had uh, Castile, Portugal, or Tunis as rivals, because I think that would give enough of a boost to potentially allow it to happen. But nobody wants to accept an alliance with me, unfortunately. So I'm really, it's just me and Mazab. <laughs> That's it. So, yeah. It's going to be fun, to say the least. Alright, so we have... Uh, I I've already dropped it down to 1x time, just to be able to manage this properly. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I want to split this, and I want to send one troop over to this island, and one troop over to... Why can't I send both? That's really weird. I should be able to send both. You guys stay here. You go there. There we go. Okay. I, that was weird. I don't know why I did that. These are... One of each of these is Portugal and Castile. My troops are already kind of dedicated to being over here. And if I can capture these two, that'll help me with a little bit of war score. Also... Okay, so the war goal is to take Tangier. This province right here. So the longer I hold this province in particular, the higher my war score will go up. So that's my other sort of way out of this. Um, I also need to, of course, immediately bring these troops back. What I'd like to do, actually, with these guys is to try to get them joined up with Mazab's troops and take... and I almost go really aggressive against uh, Tunisia, because if I... if Castile sends troops over, I am just... I am boned no matter what. Um, actually, you know what? Let me see what kind of navies they're dealing with. There's a chance... I believe you can actually see exactly what Naval, uh, okay, you can see exactly how many transports. So, uh, Castile has 12 transports, so they will be capable to send over troops. And Portugal has, uh, 11 transports. Okay, so troops definitely will be coming across. My other saving grace is that if I can get a defensive fight against somebody who is coming across, and I can go ahead and run time here, I think, as long as I'm moving everybody. If I can get into a defensive fight... Is that a transport? That is their transports. So yeah, that's not going to happen already. Um, but yeah, if I could theoretically have gotten into a tra into a defensive fight, uh, I could potentially stack wipe or force a retreat out of their troops. And 
Otherwise, put them in a position where they wouldn't be able to get across. Okay, so they have their trans... So they'll be able to walk their troops across here. So if I can get my troops over here fast enough... Alright, we did win that war with the natives. Have our troops arrived here? Looks like they're in the process of arriving. Um, but yeah, I believe if they have no viable way to retreat, then I will innately basically stack wipe them. It's essentially a forced stack wipe, I believe, if they have nowhere to retreat. So as soon as both of these guys are on here, I'm going to start hauling the rest of my troops across. I am going to eat a little bit of a war score loss due to the blockading for both of my wars, but hopefully that won't be that big of an issue. Where's the other guy? All right, so I've got one of them going that way. Where's the other one? Are they both going this way? I, I, I only wanted one of them to go that way. There we go. That's really weird. I could have sworn I had them set up to go that way. Oh, this is another problem. Crap. Yep, well, there goes my transport ships. Yep, they are dead. And these troops aren't even going to get off. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen, but it looks like it's going to. So, can I actually save these ships at least? See if I can get them out of the fight and into a retreat. I don't think so. They're going to get destroyed. So, that's going to basically isolate all these troops over here. And I won't even be able to... Yeah, I just lost those troops and those ships. So that kind of changes things. So these these guys are now isolated over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to consolidate. And I will potentially just let those troops go. I think I just need to hire mercenaries like right now. I need I need to have a full army here as best as I can. How much are these? Oh, God. 0.55 ducats a month. That is brutal. I mean, I'm willing to pay that for cavalry, but right, we are making ships here. I'm going to cancel that since our plans have significantly changed. And I'm just going to go ahead and just hire. I'm going to use up all my manpower. And I'm just going to straight up hire enough cavalry to fight. Hopefully Mazab is smart and he retreats and doesn't let that get killed. Yeah, so these guys are now isolated over here. Since they're over here, I might as well just colonize the place <laughs> I mean I, I would rather do that and uh, then try to delete them and make use of the force limit somewhere else because yeah, I'm gonna get blockaded all the hell the blockades are definitely gonna hurt my war score what's actually uh Oh, call for Rex form. I don't really see a whole lot of uh, playthroughs where the the emperor actually does reforms and such. Maybe, or maybe I'm just not paying attention to it. Um, okay, so where is Tunis? Tunis is take to Tugurt. So their war goal is. Oh, that's right. This was actually a war not against me, but against them, and I accepted the call. Let me see if I can get over here and help. And yes, I did make a lot of cavalry, but my proportion between infantry and cavalry is actually okay. Ah, crap. Okay, so Spain does have troops here. They did manage to get their troops across, so I'm going to go up to 2x here. Uh, I, man. I don't know if I just got really unlucky having both Portugal and Castile, because if I recall correctly, they both rivaled me. Like, I didn't go after them. They rivaled me, and I just rivaled them back. Okay, so thankfully I do have a fort here. That'll help a lot with that. That is a, that is a highland, so unfortunately that's going to be a little rough. Mazab didn't end up getting their butts kicked there. I may just have to let Mazab get con get conquered and, and actually not try to interfere too much. I may want to just straight up look for white piece as quickly as I can, as much as it'll result in Mazab getting taken. Wait, bronze cannon? Are you serious? Do they already have cannons? Wow, they already have cannons. What level of military power am I on? Five. That's not good. It's not good, boys. It's not good. Okay. Spain's bringing more troops over. So the AI is actually being somewhat competent this time around. Alright, how 
Hold on. Okay, so my my cavalry is almost done. But the lack of manpower is going to be very dangerous as well. I think my proportions may actually be way off on this. And I may have too much cavalry despite the fact that I tried not to do that. So I guess we're trying to play first thing in the morning. And they forced my boats out, so that's a problem. Let me get my navy completely wiped here. Yeah, I think I've got way too much cavalry. Not sure what the insufficient support penalty is, but I'm going to be eating it. That's my own fault. Hopefully uh, I can team up with Mazab, who seems to have largely infantry, and then that will help. At least I think it'll help. I don't actually don't know if that works that way. So if I attack there, that would be attacking into Highlands, which would not be good. Actually, I don't see the red, so maybe I'm okay. Huh. Alright. So I'm going to try to go over to... I'm going to maybe try to cut over here and... Ah, God, this is so... So tough. I don't know whether or not trying to deal with Spain or uh, I've got to defend my home turf. They're likely going to be going after Tangiers next. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have accepted the call. I got both of the war decks at the same time, so I shouldn't have accepted the call. I can support the supply limit there. I have a feeling if I try to attack into the highlands, it's going to be not only a bad idea, but likely going to result in them breaking their siege and then coming and supporting. I, I don't think I can win that. Castile also has level 7 military tech, but no cannons yet. All right. Castile's not really moving right now, so I think I may actually go try to attack the Tunisian troops here. Give some relief to my buddy. Oh. How did I end up... Did I really just do that? Did they automatically walk into there even though I wanted them to go around? Well, that sucks. That really sucks. I wasn't even paying attention. Doing some okay damage to him, getting some okay rolls. Just being in the highlands and with me being the ag aggressor, just killing me. So that's a little rough. Wasn't even paying attention. Really penalizing myself for attacking and <laughs> doing this war went right when I first woke up today. <sighs> Looks like Tunisia's gonna get their way over there too. So I think we're going to lose some land here. Wow, I'm retreating all the way to Timbuktu? Jeez. Yeah, because I was attacking into Highlands. Did they, is there a way to see if they called me in as a co- Okay, so they did not call me in as a co-belligerent. Alright. They may still be able to get some land from me, but... Keep losing. Losing that. I'm gonna, I have nothing really to do other than sit here and watch myself die, so I'm going up to 3x here. I'm gonna lose a bunch of power projection from this. I was really holding on to my alliance with Ottomans that it was I was hoping would allow me to do well, and then they broke it off, and as soon as they broke it off, I got war decked on, and I don't know if I just let my rep slip too low, or I really don't know what happened. Looks like Castile's bringing more troops over as well. Or no, that's Portugal, finally. Ech. 
This is not going well, gentlemen, ladies. Alright, we're just about out of manpower. I'm going to let one more tick refresh and then I'm just going to consolidate. So until I go for mercenaries, this is probably going to be the only way I'm going to be able to fight this. <laughs> but Mazab is grabbing some territory back. It's going to be really quite some time before I can even get a white piece out of that. Really the forts are the only thing that's keeping me from getting swarmed right now. Portugal doesn't have any cannons either. Man, look at Mazab trying to be a bro. Don't want to lose stability right now. France is... What? When the hell did France get in here? Really? They... Wow. Really? How the, how the hell does that work? I've never been able to, to call in a... That is ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like... I, now I feel like I'm just getting trolled. Like, hey, I'm just going to record a series on YouTube, and it'll be really fun and exciting to show off this game that I feel like I'm somewhat competent at. Eh, nope. I guess I need to play the Alliance game a little better. Well, I might as well go to 4X because I'm really just kind of waiting to see if they're going to attack into me and hoping for the best. Let's see, if I attack the French, would they... I bet you these guys will break and come help defend. I don't, I don't know that that's a winnable fight. I don't, I don't know that any of this is really a winnable fight in any way. To be some insanely good roles and insanely incompetent AI. Yeah, they just took the they just took the war goal. So I got lucky in the first war with them not wanting to uh, be competent in any way. This one, not so much. Lost the effects of trading in sugar. I guess we technically don't control any of these. Timbuktu and Separatists. I don't know if there's anything I can do about them. I have to move my troops down there. I may just have to handle them, spend some military power to do that. I think they're actually attacking into me now. 
Yep. Yeah, this is going to be disastrous. Holy moly, they're wrecking me. It's probably going to stack wipe them. Nope, not quite, thankfully. Still wasn't good, though. Yay, slaves! <laughs> there goes the rest of my navy, pretty much. I'm hoping once they take this land, I will no longer be a valid rival for them, and they'll just let me, let me go. It's actually interesting, because I've never really had a game where I've been really far behind and then tried to come back, so... Alright, peace offer from Conceal. Tangiers... Mela, Melilla. So I lose four provinces. Whatever. I, I have to accept it. It's only going to get worse if I let it go more. Am I still a rival to them? Seriously, I'm still a rival. Really hoping it would say I was not a valid rival anymore. All right, so now we're eating a bunch of loans. Um, on the plus side, I will potentially be able to deal with the... Oh, all my war exhaustion went away, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to have to increase autonomy. Which I probably should have just done in the first place, but... Okay, there we go. So no more, no more chance of rebellion, at least, so I have the ability to recover. I might be able to actually win this war against Tunis now. Maybe. It'll be through some serious luck. Uh, but anyway, we're out of time for this episode. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time where we are going to have to try to rebuild and figure out how we're going to get that land back.